Let me begin again. Let me begin again as a speck of dust caught in the night winds sweeping out to sea. Let me begin this time knowing the world is salt water and dark clouds. The world is grinding and sighing all night and dawn comes slowly and changes nothing. An ordinary morning. A man is singing on the bus coming in from Toledo. His voice floats over the heads that bow and sway with each turn, jolt and sudden slowing. A hoarse, quiet voice. It tells of love that is true, of love that endures a whole weekend. The simple truth. I bought a dollar and a half's worth of small red potatoes. Took them home, boiled them in their jackets, and ate them for dinner with a little butter and salt. Then I walked through the dried fields on the edge of town. In middle June, the light hung on in the dark furrows at my feet, and in the mountain oaks, Overhead, the birds were gathering for the night, the jays and mockers squawking back and forth, the finches still darting into the dusty light. The poem circling Hamtramck, Michigan, all night in search of you. He hasn't gone to work. He'll never go back to work. The wife has gone home mad with the baby on one arm. Swaying on his good leg, he calls out to the bare bulb a name and opens his arms. The old woman, the beer gone from her glass, turns back to the bar. She's seen them before with hard knotted bellies, with the bare white breasts of boys. How many times has she stared into those eyes glistening with love or pain and seen nothing but love or pain? Belle Isle. 1949. We stripped in the first warm spring night and ran down into the Detroit River to baptize ourselves in the brine of car parts, dead fish, stolen bicycles, melted snow. I remember going under hand in hand with a Polish high school girl I'd never seen before. And the cries our breath made caught at the same time on the cold and rising through the layers of darkness into the final moonless atmosphere that was this world. Saturday sweeping with an old broom, counting the strokes back and forth. The dust sprays up silver in the February sun and comes down gray. Soft straw muzzle poking in and bringing out scraps of news, little fingers and signatures. Everybody's had this room one time or another and never thought to sweep. They 
did not lie down face to face because of the waste of being so close. And they were too tired of being each other to try to be lovers. And because they had to sit up straight so they could eat. convicts and soldiers, men and women who crossed and recrossed the earth, bearing only the flag of their hopes, should stand numb by the weight of a Thursday shift, and raise his head to a heaven he'd never believed in, and sing in a hoarse voice, older than his years, oh lordy lord, I am, I'm coming home. He who had no home and no hope, alone on a certain night in a year of disbelief, could sing to the ranks of closed houses and cars, could sing as clear rain fell. a few leaves from last fall, black, curled, a silent chorus for all those we've left behind. Suddenly at my back I feel a new wind come on, chilling, relentless, with all the power of loss, the meaning unmistakable. 